decided to come to Rocky Neck this summer and I was happy to um, be a resident artist here because my parents brought me up uh, around art and one of the first places that I came to visit as a child was the art studios here on Rocky Neck. Um, I was fortunate to have parents that really understood and appreciated the value of art and so I wanted to pay homage to that. I came out of uh, the Boston Realism, the revival of it in the late 70s, early 80s. Painting in particular had started to fall out of favor. Suddenly easel painting was um, not where it was going. But I've never followed what was in favor or not because I know that painting uh, has made a revival numerous times <laughs> throughout history and it, it has again. The way that I work is I paint the painting in my head. Once I've done that, then I go to the canvas and it becomes very automatic. It's almost meditative to be painting in that way. Sometimes the paintings will come really quickly because I've identified with it so closely that it may be done in a few days. Other times it could take a couple of weeks. In my case, I paint representational work. So that's suggestive, almost like impressionism, of what's happening rather than exacting qualities of a painting. Um, I like the fresh energy and the expression of it. My style, I think, evolved over time, but I never shy away from changing, always moving forward and trying new things. I draw constantly. If you don't draw, then I don't think you can sculpt, I don't think that you can photograph, I don't think that you can paint. Um, to know the human form or to know what's around you, you have to be able to draw it. And so I'm constantly refreshing myself by making finished works of art out of drawings. What they do is they help you see value better. They help you understand, you know, what's important in the piece, where the focal point is. For my mind, I think I became more of a professional artist when I started exhibiting after I graduated school and had to uh, learn the business side of, of art. You can't wait around to be inspired to paint. Fortunate for me, um, it's more about the color that inspires me to paint, so I don't you know, necessarily need to have the perfect subject matter to paint. In the end, I make the perfect subject matter.